What's up, my people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You feel my glasses? You feel my sunshade? <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayobami Obudairo. If you are just joining me for the first time, I share, I talk about Unisalento for Talent Scholarship. And I have good news for you. The long-awaited Unisalento for Talent Scholarship is out. <laughs> Finally, it's out and the deadline is 20th of May 2022. So you need to apply very fast if you are very much interested. If you want to have an overview of what the scholarship is all about, I've created a video before so you can go right back and watch the video about the overview of the Unisalento for Talent Scholarship. However, if you want to apply now, the time is now. It ends this month. So on the 20th of May, that will be the deadline for application. So if you need to apply, quickly go and apply right now. The age limit for this application is 1st of January 1997. If you are giving birth to before this time, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you'll not be able to apply for this scholarship. However, if you are giving birth to after this particular date, then this video is for you so in this video i'll be sharing the application process talk about the video cv i'll walk you through the call for application and we'll see together so right now take sit back and let's dive right in let's search for uni salento for talent Okay, I'm just here. So, in the Salento for Talents scholarship. So, this is the university page, and these are the benefits and uh, the department and the courses that are available for application. So, you come to this side, related resources, and uh, click on call for applications okay i've downloaded the file already it's a pdf file this is it that you also okay yes so the call for application here yeah, try and read and digest everything i won't go through this whole document however i'll go through the key things that are needed so this for this call we have just six courses that you can apply to then here is the list of the benefits if we have exemption from university fees and charges no school fees no student fees no student union government fees anything you only have to pay your regional tax and the cost I, I've, I've shared i've shared the cost of this regional tax in the previous video i did about the budgetary sum for students in italy then you have free single room so you can read through the benefits then the admission requirement okay as i said the important ones are the ones i will go through directly so let's go through this second one what the second item mean is you should have obtained your certificates that's your bsc certificate or you will be in possession of that certificate at the time of enrollment so even if you don't have your certificate right now you can you can apply however make sure that the qualification will be ready by the time of enrollment then we'll go to the third one your certificate must be acknowledged by the Ministry of Education of your country. Also, your certificate must allow access to a master's degree course. So, just make sure you can apply for master's degree course with your certificate before you can apply. The fourth one, you must have obtained an average of marks or grades at bachelor's degree that allows you to access a master's degree course of at least 24 over 30 so you can do this conversion from your school system to the italian system 
using this particular formula in atta attachment 2 you can find attachment 2 on the on the website for the call number five you must you must be in possession of the specific requirements of the choosing master's degree course so the requirement for all the master degree course the master degree course of your choice you must be in possession of it you must qualify for that particular course number six also you need english language certificate at least b2 level or a letter of english language proficiency from your university you can also use that if you don't have english the certified english language certificate then if you have italian language certificate also it's also it's a plus but it is not compulsory anyway so the next thing you must not be enrolled in any italian degree or course in university of talento okay so another thing the age requirements which is the key thing you must not have been born before 1st of january 1997 that's the age requirement 1st january 1997 so this is the selection criteria 25 applicants will be selected across board so four for each of the departments so you should know that your this will be really competitive so make sure the submission of your document your motivational letter and all the other uh, documents that are required of you are competitive enough so take your time with this application and note you can only apply to only one course so mand mandatory documents for application number one the first compulsory document is your transcript transcript from your bachelor's degree then the second document is your degree certificate your bachelor's degree certificate is listed here required for admission to the master's degree course however if you don't have your bachelor's degree certificate yet you can submit an official document from your university certifying that you have completed the, the course program and you are waiting your degree certificate so degree certificate is very compulsory but if you don't have it yet you can submit a letter from your university attesting that you've completed your program and you are waiting your degree certificate so the next thing is your motivational letter notes maximum of 500 words then you need reference letter from your supervisor your, from your supervisor reference letter from your supervisor you need cv you need your cv the cv there is a format already attached to this call so you will use that i would i would explain later in the video you use that template for your cv then you need your valid passport valid passport or any other official identification document eg the national identity card so either your passport or your national identity card you can use that then any other documents required for admission so non-compulsory documents certificate of italian language as i said earlier it's it's not compulsory however it has some points points may be awarded for it so it's a plus for you and also you you are strongly recommended to record a short video a short cv video of no more than one minute please try as much as possible to include this try as much as possible to include this it is not compulsory anyway but try as much as possible to include it just once one minute video explaining who you are and what you want to do okay i'll share i'll share a sample of this video cv and you can check youtube also for other video cv samples so um procedure for the presentation of applications okay this is for those that want to apply for grants still the same thing so duration of the scholarship duration of the scholarship is 12 months from 
1st of September 2022 to 12th of September to 1st of September 2023. So the scholarship will end on the 31st of August 2024. However, you need to renew on yearly basis. So what I'm trying to say, this is it here, renewals. In order to obtain a renewal, you have to obtain at least 30 university credits by 10th of August 2023. So what that means is you must have passed 30 credits of your courses, of the courses you will do in the first year. After then, automatically you'll be qualified for the scholarship the second year. If not, you will lose the scholarship. So you have to note this. And okay, you must and you must graduate by the last available session for those enrolled in your year of student intake, which is April, which will be April 2025. These are the link to the courses that you are interested in however you can see it on the call also that i showed before so these are the links you can you can go to any of the courses you want to apply for and check the requirement also so this is the evaluation criteria and how they will rank so the curriculum and motivation 20 points that cv and motivation letter 20 points your grade bachelor's grade 40 points and all that so you can go through all this and see the breakdown then insurance okay you'll be given insurance and incompatibility in case the, the list of uh, the list of other scholarships or grants in which university uni salento for talent scholarship are not compatible with so these are just the basic these are the major things that are needed however go through this document eight pages of documents and understand it well i wish you all the best for the cv format you come back to the website and click on this under still under related resources you click on curriculum vita a new form so if you click on that is it download the, the file in microsoft word this is the way it looks application form so what you need to do is just fill in your personal details date of birth date and place of birth your address mobile number email choose the program of interest so you can just tick any of this then your personal statement summarized in about five lines your professional profile so what you just do is replace uh, this line with whatever you want to write i am a boy with two eyes so put it there your work experience from this job role you can include experience that you have so those are the ones that you should include here you are not satisfied with these two work experiences you can click enter and create and add more but try as much as possible to limit the page do not let it exceed two pages you know they have two pages here so whatever you want to include here include but you can as i said when you you can replace all these things while you write then education date university degree thesis title and score follow these templates and impute your education your secondary school year then your primary school year languages mother tongue so language probably like for me now i am yoruba i'll write yoruba language written level mother tongue is m i put m spoken level m that is mother tongue english language i put c advanced written level advanced spoken level i can put i use b 
so these are my own choices you can select anything but just follow this template follow this template language certifications just write the name the name of the language certification you have so for those who don't have language certificates that want to use letter of proficiency in english language just type it there too letter of proficiency in english language leave it computer skills your personal skills your hobbies then you leave all these things you declare your declarations just include your signature date and place us place your signature and date just write signature sign and with your date that's all about optimizing processes and project management. I studied mechanical engineering at the Federal University of Technology Accra, where I graduated with an 83% grade. While in school, I entered as a project engineer at Megawatt Nigeria Limited, which equipped me with the necessary skills and expertise to work as an engineering and commercial officer at Basecon Nigeria Limited. There is a need for me to pursue a master's degree program in management engineering in order to further learn and advance in my career. Thank you so much. Finally, when you have all these documents ready and you've uploaded your CV, your video CV online, probably on your Google Drive or Dropbox or YouTube or wherever you upload it, you can after you've done all these things then you come here under application form 2022 slash 2023 so you click it and it will load this page then you fill appropriately your given names that's your first name then your middle name if you have family name which is your surname so your date of birth the format is here place of birth email phone number you fill everything tick all these declarations by just clicking on them we tick them then certify level of english language competency click either of these two and your level of italian be confident don't lie in any of your application if it is zero click zero there's no problem about that then video cv inside the link to the video cv that you've created then you tick the course you want down here you you submit you upload all your files down here you upload all your files then declaration again after your declaration declaration also then your text then you insert the text verification and you in via in via you submit that's all <music>